Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy C. Will back to you with another video. Man on Super Saturday. Why? Because we got what? Android 9 Pi. And definitely we are installing this on the Verizon Galaxy Note 9. We're doing a manual firmware update today instead of the OTA version. But there is one disclaimer. And that is, is that if you decide to do this, you are doing this at your own risk. I am not responsible for anything that happens to your phone if anything should happen. So... Hey, grab some snacks, grab something to drink, and let's get into this video. All right, so up on the screen here, uh, we got a couple of things that's happening right now. Uh, one, um, again, what we're doing is we're actually installing the official OTA update uh, for Android Pi. Um, so the firmware uh, that was just released on February the 1st uh, for US carriers. Now, I know this particular firmware does work for Verizon. Um, I cannot speak uh, for any other carrier. Um, I do know that AT&T has already released their OTA update um, as well as Sprint. Uh, so this is for Verizon. I'm not, I don't know anything about the T-Mobile version, uh, but again, uh, we are looking at the Verizon version because that's what I have. And so that's what we're gonna cover today. Um, this uh, uh, particular update is N as in Nancy 960US. Q-U-1-C-S-A-A. -A. Um, and so what I do is I, in the description below, I will place any of the links uh, for XDA developers and all the stuff that we're gonna go over. I'll place that in the description below. You may see a pop-up on the screen, uh, but you'll definitely have uh, this uh, particular information for you. And again, just a disclaimer, um, I am not responsible for what happens to your phone. Uh, Whatever you decide to do as far as installing firmware is totally up to you. Uh, this is something that I am trying out for myself. And uh, definitely, if you would like to follow along, you can do this for yourself. So um, on XDA Developers website, um, it gives you a couple of things. It tells you about, um, it gives a couple of links for one, the actual download link here to be able to download the firmware. Um, two, uh, there's also a link uh, let's see here for Odin. Um, you could go ahead and download that, but the option that we're going to choose to the method that we're going to choose to install, this is actually going to be fairly easy. Uh, cause we're actually going to put the firmware on, I have an SD card that's on a Galaxy Note 9 here. Um, and so what we're going to do is actually put the firmware on the SD card. Um, uh, and I've actually already done that, but I'm going to show you how to do that part. Uh, so once you download the actual firmware, what we're going to do, uh, let's see here, I'm going to go ahead and plug this up to my computer. So what you're going to do is uh, you have two options here. Um, you have a storage for your SD card and you have the phone storage. We're going to go ahead and go inside the SD card. I have it in my downloads folder. And as you can see here, here's the firmware. After I download it, uh, this, because once you click on this, it's going to take you here, click here, start download. It's going to give you different mirrors and things of that nature. So if you click here, it should pop up with different mirrors. Uh, just choose one that works for you. I chose the primary one. Once we did that, um, I was able to download that to the computer, transfer from the computer. I transferred this over to the SD card on the phone and uh, boom, we got that part out of the way um, up here. And I'll post a link for this as well. This uh, particular link right here actually takes you through the installation steps. And here are some of the prerequisites. Um, it says the process below will not wipe in the data. However, we strongly recommend that you take a complete backup of all your data on your phone, including internal storage, uh, charge your Galaxy Note 9 for a sufficient battery level. Make sure that you install the Samsung USB drivers. Um, I would definitely go ahead and just click on that. Uh, once you click here, it's going to give you, if you scroll down, it's going to give you the drivers that you need to have installed just so your computer recognizes everything. Uh, we're going to go back. Once you have that done, uh, it says an important note on your phone, go to security settings. So if you actually uh, swipe down, click on settings, the cog wheel at the top right hand corner. Then if you go down to, I think I passed it. Oh, here we go. Biometrics, biometrics and security. 
I actually, um, it says to go ahead and uh, delete your current fingerprint data. I went ahead and just deleted my fingerprint data, my iris scanner, face recognition, all this stuff. Um, and it says to do that uh, just to make sure that, you know, you don't have any type of corruption while you're trying to do an update. Uh, this is just a precaution. Uh, so, hey, it says it here. I went ahead and just deleted that information. So another thing here is uh, you definitely need to make sure that you have installed the latest update on your phone from your carrier. So if you go up here, go back to settings at the top right hand corner. If you scroll down and click on system updates. And right now, this will show you the software updated to, and then it says the N960USQ. U1 ARL, uh, that is the latest update for Verizon currently right now because they haven't pushed out the Android 9 uh, Pi update yet. And so you have to make sure that you're on the latest update, which is this one. Um, I think this update was just pushed out in the beginning of January, it says January the 4th. Uh, so just make sure that you have that done first. And uh, once all that is completed, uh, what we're gonna do now, we're actually gonna scroll down and it says here download the galaxy mode okay so we've done all this we're going to scroll all the way down to uh, there's two different methods of installing um, the firmware you have method one which is using odin we're not doing that um, it's not super complicated but it's an easier way we're actually doing method number two using ota um, it says use an ota but basically it says download the uh, the firmware, uh, which we've already done, and we've already put on our SD card on the phone. Uh, so we're skipping past this part. It says uh, disconnect the device and power it off completely. So uh, we're gonna take that off. And then we're gonna go ahead and uh, hold down the power button. All right, so what we need to do is go ahead and power off the phone. And okay, so now the phone is powering off. So what we need to do uh, from the instructions here, we actually need to boot uh, the Galaxy Note 9 into stock recovery mode. And so for stock recovery mode, uh, let's see here. When we click this and let's just take a look here. Do, do, do. Okay, so it says how to boot Note 9 into recovery mode. So what we're gonna do the instructions say to, okay, we already turned off the device. Ensure that the phone is switched off completely. Finally, press and hold the volume up button and the Bixby button and the power button simultaneously to boot the Galaxy Note 9 into recovery mode. All right, so I don't think we need this cable anymore. So what we need to do is actually uh, the volume up button. I don't know how we're gonna do this. Okay, so we got it. So we're gonna use the power button, the Bixby button, and the volume up button, all at the same time to boot into the recovery mode. So we're holding that. All right, so now we are in recovery mode. So hopefully you could be able to see that on the camera, all right. So we got it into recovery mode. Now the directions say, let's go back here. Let's go back. And so it says release the buttons when you see the blue screen with the Android logo. Um, it says in stock recovery, use the volume buttons to highlight. And then we're gonna to go to apply update from SD card and then select the option using the power button. Okay, so right now it's on reboot system now we don't want to do that we're going to go down using the volume button and we actually going to go down to apply update from sd card so we're going to use the power button to select that all right now it says navigate to the sd card and select the android pi base one ui ota update package okay so we actually need to go into the folder where we Put the package, so we're gonna use the volume down button and go down to download. We're gonna press the power button to select. And then boom, there it is. That's the actual package right there. Power button to select. And now, if you can see that, it is going through the actual process. 
me and right now it still says that it's patching the system image at the verification and so once this is done we'll see what pops up next all right guys so we got some activity here just as an fyi the system you know this process takes about 15 to 20 minutes so nothing is wrong with it uh it is currently rebooting right now and uh let's just see what happens okay so we are finally booting back up we got the verizon logo that's coming up right now so this is a good thing um, this means that uh, we don't have any issues with this crashing on us. Um, and when I mean crashing, like uh, getting stuck in the actual firmware uh, mode, you know, in the recovery mode. So uh, everything is good to go with this particular uh, firmware that we're using. Uh, so I just can't wait for this to fully boot up so we can see the changes to the user interface. Okay, let me log in with my pen. All right, so everything is good to go. One thing I can tell right off the bat is when you swipe down for the notification, everything looks different now. Uh, the icons, um, all that stuff, everything is different now. So when you swipe down and you go to settings, if we go down to about phone for information, Android version 9, one UI version. And if you keep clicking on it, there we go. We got the Android Pie Easter egg. <laughs> so definitely, man, uh, we got this up and going. Again, I definitely like um, the new user interface here. Um, again, we're gonna do a video at a later date. Um, it says it's finishing the system update. So yeah, we're gonna do a video at a later date that kind of goes through all of the features here. Uh, but I am definitely looking forward to going through everything and um, and seeing what all the differences are. So, hey, I hope that helped out today. I hope this went successfully for you as it did for me. And uh, yeah, good deal. All right, guys, I hope you was excited as much as I was. Man, that was pretty close. There was one point in time where I just knew, okay, something is finna go wrong. <laughs> But I'm glad it didn't. We got a clean update, clean install. I will do a future video showing all of the features of the Samsung One UI software. Uh, but hey, till then, I got some great stuff coming. Stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next video.